So my thoughts turn to how squirrely would it be on the road in the rain? So I have a couple of questions there, Tara, and I'll explain it this way. Every single video I watch where someone's driving the car, and I understand the car's still in development, so people drive it quite vigorously, but having said that, the conditions are just perfect. There's, uh, it's always a sunny day, it's always a nice day, it looks like a perfect weather. However, in the real world, when I bought my Ford Fusion Titanium Hybrid, I went and I rented one for a week and that meant I got exposed to like rainy weather and cloudy days and warm days and, and, and so on. And what I'm saying is I got to test the car over a period where I felt satisfied with it. I went to a dealership, bought the car. Okay, here's the thing with the Aptera. Everybody drives the car perfect condition they drive it quite vigorously and as much as I enjoy it just like the next guy to drive a car in that fashion I don't think it satisfies my questions that I have because I cannot go and test drive a car I can't go and rent a car for a week I can't do certain things and even though I I want to buy one, not just for myself, but one for the missus. There are a number of questions I feel that needs to be answered. What's the power to weight ratio? How does it perform in wet weather? Um, how well um, do, like what's the charge rate if it's a cloudy day? Batteries perform during the winter time. What kind of cold weather could you expose the car to? Uh, those are the questions that I have. Like in the winter time when there's virtually no sun and it's cloudy, like how well does the car perform? Would the car have traction in snow because you only have three points of contact, not four, even though you have drive on two of those points of contact? Like how well, uh, would it perform in slippery conditions? I have so many questions. I do believe that uh, you guys are doing a fantastic job. I believe in the company. I believe in what you guys are doing. It's just, I have questions. Anyways, I do believe that uh, someone will respond to me at some stage. Uh, the support of the community, the Aptera community, the amount of comments I receive, uh, answers I receive. There are so many questions the community have answered and responded to. And therefore, for those I am particularly grateful for, I have real life, real questions i would love to get some of them answered and i understand that you can't really answer them because it's what a gamma at the moment it's not even a i don't know beta or alpha i don't know um so i i don't know where you guys are in the development all i heard was next year 2025 we're looking at some releases and that has me spectacularly excited in no way shape or form is this meant to offend any aptera supporter because i'm with you for now i'll say thanks for watching take care guys aptera thanks for all you do